today I'll be showing you how to make your first program in C++. To follow along with this tutorial, you must have either Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition or Visual Studio 2010 installed on your computer. The first thing you have to do is open the program. Once the program is open, go to the top and press New Project. Then select Empty Project. You can name this whatever you want. Press OK to create the project. Now go to the top and press Add New Item. And then C++ File. You can name this whatever you want to. As you can see, we now have a blank C++ file ready for code to be added. So now I'm going to start adding the code. The first thing I'm going to add is pound include iostream. This is what is known as a preprocessor directive. Any statement that starts with pound include is a preprocessor directive. It tells the program to include a header file, which is a small program that gives your program more functionality. Many programs have more than one preprocessor directive, but I'll only be using one for this basic program. You'll be using the iostream header file in most of your projects because it controls basic input and output. The next line I'm going to add is using namespace standard. This line isn't strictly necessary, but it means I don't have to put std in front of every standard command I use, like cout and nl. So now, I'm going to put void main followed by two parentheses. This is the main part of the program. The void part means that the function will not return a value when it has finished executing. All programs begin execution with the main function. Without the main function, the program would not run. So now I'm going to put a curly brace to start off the program. Now I'm going to put C out insertion operator and then quote hello world. This simply tells the program to output hello world onto the screen. Now I'm going to put another insertion operator and then end L. This tells the program to move to a new line. I'm going to end this statement with a semicolon. You will terminate most statements in C++ with a semicolon. There are a few exceptions, but these are quite rare. So now I'm going to put system and then parentheses pause. This tells, this tells command prompt to wait until a key is pressed before exiting the program. Otherwise, the program would exit as soon as Hello World was printed on the screen, and we would not have a chance to see it. I'm going to end this statement with a semicolon too. Now, I'm going to put another curly brace to end the program. To test the program, go to the top and press Start Debugging, which is the little green arrow. If this dialog comes up, press Yes. Now, the program is being built. Now you can see our program, hello world, and if you press a key, it will now exit. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, please subscribe.